Harris, where we believe typology can save the world. I'm Amanda Fogelson. And I'm Jesse Miller. And today we are continuing our series on how all of the cognitive functions present in all of the positions. So we've got lots of resources on our channel. There's a little eye that's going to pop up here throughout the video. Um, and it's going to say suggested. So I've gone through and I put all of these little videos in that you can go and or the little links so you can click the link and go watch the video. So we've got lots of what is the cognitive stack, what are functions, all of the things. And today we are specifically focusing on introverted intuition as it presents in the inferior function. So that would be for the ESTPs and the ESFPs. Just a little reminder that we say in the beginning of every single video is that anyone can be anything. And there's a little twist to that this time. For this series, while we do stand by that statement, for this particular series, we are really focused on the consistent behaviors that we see in ESTPs and ESFPs when they're using their introverted intuition in their inferior placement. So just know that we're going to be giving a lot of examples, a lot of real life situations um, from people we know or from things we've seen. However, the takeaway, the where the, the true value is of an I in the, as the inferior function is in the motivation behind these behaviors that we're going to be giving you. Mm -hmm. So with all that in mind, Carl Jung said that there's an ideal type average. So if you don't relate to some of these things, it might be because you're a little older in your life, a little further in your journey, or you could be a little younger and you have not yet hit that. So keep all of that in mind as we go through. So the inferior position, this is the biggest area of personal growth that we have conscious control over. Depending on whose theory you follow, you have the least conscious control over your inferior function out of all of the four in your cognitive mm -hmm. stack. The inferior function is the function that we feel defensive about. We feel embarrassed about it. We feel like we ought to be good at this thing, but we aren't. Um, we tend to be a little bit of, in awe of the people who can use it um, versus us. Mm -hmm. and, um, and sometimes it can even be positive because it can be like taking a little vacation from yourself. So it, it presents itself in all of those fashions. Introverted intuition is the function that primarily is focused on the internal framework and abstract thoughts and concepts and philosophies and all of that stuff. And so that means that it's very focused on meaning, finding deeper mm -hmm. meanings, finding patterns throughout big sweeping like historical events. Um, it's really, it goes really in depth, but because it is in the inferior position for these, for both of these users, for ESTPs and ESFPs, um, they have, they may not have the full range or understand all of the nuance that comes with this that an NI dominant would. Mm -hmm. So it can kind of trip them up and we're going to be talking about some of the ways that they do this. So for ESFPs and ESTPs, they're action based. They're both extroverted, extroverted sensors first and they're very focused on this moment. Um, they tend to not be very good at the future because the future mm -hmm. is an abstract concept to them. And abstract concepts are things they feel inferior about. If they can't apply a practical application to what they're learning, they can have a really hard time learning like these weird metaphysical concepts. Mm -hmm. um, and they can also not really understand like the mysticalness of things. It's like for them, I found that ES, this is controversial, but I don't care. I found that ESTPs and ESFPs can be really good at typing people because they see the function so like this is the function and they can see it so quickly in another person because they've got it down. They've like really honed it to a science where they're like, they just recognize the cognitive functions. This is kind of a controversial opinion, but I find that ESTPs and ESFPs can be really good at typing people. So like typecasting and helping guide people through their type because they just see the functions as they are and they're not doing what the introverted intuitive does, which is to ask questions for everything. But again, that can sometimes be a downfall for them. Um, they may accuse others of being shallow mm -hmm. or they may they may fancy themselves to be really mystical and anybody who doesn't agree with their interpretation is the one who just doesn't get it you're just not deep enough um and we all do this we all have the right. tendency to project our inferior functions onto others but for the estp and the esfp this can become a real downfall for them because they can fan like there's a phrase um, on AJ Drent's site that they can fancy themselves sages at times and they can be really wise and offer really good advice. But if they're pulling on their advice from their inferior function, 
then that can always not be so great. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes ESTPs and ESFPs can feel misunderstood um, because there's more to them. They've got this like deep, deeper part of mm -hmm. them. And as we tend to get older, that's when the inferior function really starts to play out. So all of a sudden you'll see ESFPs and ESTPs in the middle of their life getting really into, um, into philosophy or into religion. Or my dad is like ESTP, super into self-help books. My father, I, my whole life, I never saw him read a book. Not one. I'm sure he did. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sure you read books, but you... S I'm Actually, I'm not sure you read books. I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you didn't. Um, but now, all of a sudden, my dad is, like, really into books and really into um, self-help books. He's, like, in his late 40s, and it's just, like... It's just a total switch. Mm -hmm. um, and to him, like, he takes... And then he loves, like, um, like, crime show series, and he likes to try to put together all the pieces by himself. And to me, it's just, like... He is just like the ideal ESTP type development. Like I can't think it's so hard for me to 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 think of the ESTP without thinking of him because like literally he's just like the perfect perfect he's typological arm. So perfect. Yes, yeah. he did. He's like the ideal type average like Carl Jung talked about. But yeah, so now in the middle of his life he's all of a sudden really getting into this this his philosophical side. And my ESFP coworker that I mention all the time, um she's in her 30s and she really likes to read and she really likes to consider she really likes murder mysteries and she like looks for the hidden motivations behind all of the people mm -hmm. and it's one of the ways that they can healthily engage their introverted intuitive inferior function some of the negative ways though is that again we've already mentioned they can accuse others of just not getting it of mm -hmm. not being deep enough of not just being able to understand it um it can make them see things that aren't there so like they can they can be a little bit conspiracy theory too like right. they will look for deeper hidden meanings that don't exist or they will um i don't know they they may accuse others of doing of, of conspiracy can having a conspiracy against them because they are projecting that inferior function onto that person um but Society needs the ESTPs and the ESFPs healthy because they are a smaller population and they are super helpful and active and they do so much for the world because they, they're doers, right? Yep. They like, you give like always an action. Somebody gives mm -hmm. them an idea and then they do that thing and they, they do it. Um, and they are really quick to adapt in the moment. So they need that freedom to do that. And if they're stuck in their inferior and they're thinking there's conspiracy all around, then they're not doing the actions that they are so good at doing. And so that's really dangerous for them. So society really needs that healthy inferior function. And again, it can give them a vacation from themselves. Mm -hmm. Like my dad did construction. He was like, my dad drove four wheelers. My dad did off-roading. Like he was a physical guy my entire life. My dad was into the actions all the time. And now like I could never picture him like, Listening, he read like a role, a book, uh, like a romance book the other day, and I was just like, Dad, <laughs> like not like what are you doing? not like yeah. erotic romance, but it was just like it was contemporary fiction that yeah. it was like a funny love story. It was just like a jokey love story, and he loved it. And I was like, Dad, what is happening? So it's it's just like a vacation from yourself. Also, though, I feel like a lot of times because it is your inferior, we typically don't lean into our inferior until later in life. Um, and it is the opposite attitude of your hero, so it's not super comfortable. Um, a lot of times we just completely ignore our inferior function. Like we just avoid it at all costs. Um, or we, we can't necessarily sometimes see how it could fit into our life or how it already is fitting into our life. It's very hard to notice it in ourselves sometimes, mm -hmm. um, especially if you are younger. So just lean into it a little bit and, um, it will help you create a more balanced sense of self as well. So instead of being action, 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 um, your your parent function is very similar. You want to lean into your parent function as well. But for that inferior function, because it is um, organically going to come about later on, if you are younger and you're watching this video, then you've kind of got a head start. So you don't want to like focus on it and zoom in on it and be like, okay, I'm only going to care about this function because that's dangerous in and of itself but make sure that you recognize that it's there and that you have the potential to do whatever your inferior function is telling you to do. So you, as an ESTP or an ESFP, have the ability to go deep 
you have the ability to to talk philosophy and religion and politics and all these things you can be so intelligent just like anyone else can be um so don't sell yourself short because you feel like you're missing that intuition or because you're missing any of that you still have it and you can still absolutely utilize it when you need to or want to um so don't be afraid to kind of play with it sometimes too because being human is hard and hopefully this makes it just a little bit easier thank you for watching our videos we hope we see you next time bye let's gather around the type fire and sing our type fire song our m-b-t-i-t-y-p-o-l-o-g-y song and if you feel uncomfortable then know there's nothing wrong